And here's big news coming in from France. Emmanuel Macron has appointed 34-year-old Education Minister Gabriel Attal as his new Prime Minister. With this sudden yet anticipated move, the French President seeks to give a new life into his re-election campaign just ahead of European Parliament elections. Prime Minister Gabriel Attal will now heavily lift the task of leading the government into elections in June this year. The move will not necessarily lead to any major political shift, but signals a desire for Macron to improve his centrist party's chances. Opinion polls show Macron's camp trailing far-right leader Marine Le Pen's party by around 8 to 10 percentage points. But who exactly is Gabriel Attal? Attal is a close Macron ally who became a household name as government spokesman during the COVID pandemic. He will replace outgoing Prime Minister Elizabeth Bourne. One of the country's most popular politicians in recent opinion polls, Attal, has made a name for himself as a savvy minister at ease on radio shows and in the parliament. Attal has polled as one of France's most popular politicians in recent months. The Macron loyalist has earned a reputation for himself as a smooth communicator. It is important to note that Attal will be France's youngest prime minister and the first to be openly gay. Here are some reactions. Macron tried to pass very divisive reforms last year. The first one was the pension reform that triggered weeks of violent protests in, uh, in France. And, uh, and at the end of the year, we had the immigration bill that uh, caused a, 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 a psychodrama in, in, in the French political class. And Macron really wanted to move on from, from the, 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 these political crises and, and try uh, to, to, to name someone new to, to go for battle, really, uh, ahead of uh, European Parliament elections. So Macron is really getting his troops ready for battle. Uh, European elections are in June. He's got uh, five months to go, and the, the far right is on the rise. Macron is trailing Le Pen in the polls um, uh, about eight points. That's, that's massive. And he really wants to name someone who's going to be able to, 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 to go for battle, to be a, uh, someone who's a good communicator, someone who can uh, go on morning radio shows and, and, and debate with uh, the far right rising star, Jordan Bardella. No, it's never too young. When it's effective, it's never too young. What's scary is that he's a mini macro, and on that, watch out. <laughs> He has a bit, I wouldn't say a similar profile to Emmanuel Macron, but he has this young youth that can also be convincing. But then we also saw that what was presented when it comes to Macron's commitments was not necessarily put in place and that youth does not necessarily equal a big revolution in institutions. This government is rather puppet-like because in any case we go from one issue to another without really any continuity between the subject matters. So the Prime Minister could be anyone, but that's good. It's a young homosexual. These are really two things that give him a bit of originality, but it could have been someone with red hair. It would have been the same. <laughs> 